All right, so this is Aya Amare. We did talk about her already, but uh, Aya is a female English virtual YouTuber affiliated with Niji Sanji, Six Wave Iluna. Um, so why are we talking about her again? Well, here is, um, remember her PL account kept having like posts on it. It was like, it was a test post because she was on an old phone and all that stuff. So this is her PL. This is La Death Machine. So, uh, so this is from Reddit. It says it just, it keeps going, bro. Here's some more tweets. Okay. So let's see what's happening. So the death machine says the sheer amount of insane tweets I keep drafting up and then deleting out of fear of exposing my alarmingly declining mental health. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. I just want to do my hobbies. Why do I get death threats for just wanting to do that? <gasps> oh no. I know I shouldn't say anything as to not give it attention, but this has been going on for months and I just want to be left alone. I didn't do anything. Please leave me alone. Whoa, what is happening? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, let's see what's happening. Let's scroll down to the comments, see if anyone has any insight. Ugh, I have a mental list of people that need to leave Niji urgently. Aya just skyrocketed onto that list. This is not acceptable on any level. She needs to leave and get away from any fan base that is okay with putting her through this. This is disgusting. 100%. VTubing, like I've mentioned many times before, VTubing should not... It's, it's sad that I even have to say this, but VTubing should not be a life-threatening profession. Like, absolutely not. This is... It's so sad that that people get pushed like this just just for just for being entertainers. Like, it's, it's really... It's really unfortunate and really sad. Um, let's see what people have to say here. I don't care if they're anti Niji or Niji sisters. Death threats and harassment must stop now. 100%. I agree. Even for the black screen trio, I don't care if they are uh, scumbags. Just move elsewhere and leave them alone. Death threats for months. What the actual heck? Yeah. Wow. That is awful. 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 This is an update from an earlier post. It just keeps getting worse. It's just so sad. This is so sad. It's t yeah, it's it definitely time to stop. This is awful. I hate that this is happening. She doesn't she doesn't deserve this. Bro, what does she even do to warrant this? Um, it's true. The other day I was speculating on whether or not we'd see graduation soon and specifically talked about the death machine too. Moments like this make me wonder if I should even be talking about such topics. It may not be outright harassment like death threats mentioned. But it is undue pressure that stacks on top of everything else to have their actions publicly analyzed. Like the thing is though, like as fans, right? We're, we're publicly analyzing because we want better for them and we want them out of this terrible company. This is why people are like, they're hopeful. They're like, oh, are they gonna return to their PL? Like there's nothing like, nothing bad about, about what fans are doing. Fans, fans of course want the best for their talent. Like you want the best for your Oshi, you know? And if they're suffering at the hands of a black company, you want them to to get out. It's like an abusive relationship, right? You want them to get out and you want them to get safe. But uh, what's what's odd to me is that you would be getting like, why, why would who who is who is giving the death threats? Like, it's just like you better stay here at this company or else something like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't it's disgusting. Whoever is doing this needs to stop. It's disgusting. It's absolutely sad and inappropriate. These are human beings on, at the end of the day uh, who are on the other side of this computer. And it's it's just, it's very sad. It's very sad. So like, I don't think, I don't think uh, like FFF player one, I don't think it was bad to speculate about it because because you just you just want better. You want better for the talents. So I really wouldn't be surprised if it's the NDF or even Niji themselves doing this to stop livers from blaming the black company for their mental health issues. But this is just sick. And bullying leaves the livers in the dark alone so they can work on it and come back better. Uh, the, so it, you, this is also like another problem with like, with, with VTubing as a profession, right? There's no, there's no like, I don't know if there's any qualified mental health sources who fully understand what VTubing is about. Like, I feel like they're, Maybe one day there will be, but like currently I don't think there is like, like a, like a type of therapist who would specialize in VTubers. You know what I mean? Cause it is a very relatively new profession, right? And it's, and it has a lot of mental elements that aren't really like 
addressed, right? The normal typical therapist will be like, go touch some grass, you know what I mean? Uh, but not always helpful, uh, especially that we live in such a digital age. Um, there, yeah, I, f I feel like that is maybe a part that's kind of lacking that definitely needs more work is we need more mental health, maybe tailored for VTubers because it's not something that people normally understand. Okay, let's keep going. It says uh, the amount of vitriol that Niji Ian livers are and will be subjected to is pretty bad. Uh, we don't know which ones are bad and which ones are, are on the clique. So they will get hate for staying in Niji, hate for leaving Niji, hate for starting slash posting PLs, hate for staying quiet. It, like, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, right? Can only feel bad and hope they will be able to endure and keep living as good as they can. Uh, and then someone says, I wish the hate was directed at any color instead. Right? People find it easier to attack things with faces. Mmm, that's true. That's so true. And this is the blowback of not standing up for those who can handle the bullying internally is now everyone suffers. There's not much the fans can do other than watch. What the heck? My stomach dropped just reading this. I wish there was some way we could comfort her. Is there any way we could secretly reach out to her? This is ridiculous and disgusting. You can kind of see this is, uh, everyone's pretty disgusted with, with this behavior. Um, uh, death threats are not cool. Uh, Please stop. I think that's uh, I think that's pretty fair. At the end of the day, we want what's best for the talents, and um, and this company is just a sinking ship. It's a sinking yacht, and uh, and it's just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate uh, that uh, that they're essentially using using talents as fodder, and it's it's really sad. It's really sad. But hopefully, hopefully Aya can hopefully get some help. And hopefully maybe make her way out. That would be fantastic. But I mean, time will tell. We'll see. We'll see how this all shakes out. All right. Our next piece of news we have here is, oh, look who's coming back to streaming. Uh, Alira. Look at that. I pronounced the name correctly. Don't yell at me on YouTube comments, please. Alira is good. Good morning. I think I'll do Zetsu on Friday. Thank you for waiting. So uh, uh, people seem to be excited, which is confusing. Uh, could also be that people are maybe deleting, not so... <laughs> Ew. <laughs> uh, I cannot wait for the next black stream scream. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is, I'm like, I'm like, maybe they're deleting the bad comments. Yeah, I have a feeling that maybe all the, all the negative comments are being deleted. There's like maybe like two that kind of sneaked through, but ever, otherwise everyone's like, woo, woo. Uh, anyways, so yes, this is, uh, so if you guys don't remember, Alira is, uh, the one from the, from the, the black video. And uh, yeah, okay, she's coming back. All right, everyone, on to our next piece of news. So this is a bit of uh, art controversy in the in the VTuber community here. So this is from an artist here uh, in regards to this particular VTuber. This VTuber, their name is Nathelia VTuber, uh, and they are a Rose Dragon waifu. Okay, but here is here is the, okay. So this this post is from um, it looks like their name is Laura or Laura. TRRPG. Probably best, yeah, it's best to start from here. Okay, it says, artists, watch out, this just happened to me. To all my clients and fellow art friends, at uh, Nathalia VT filed a chargeback of $676 against me, claiming that the emotes she received were damaged and unusable? Huh? She belittled my art and work and refuses to acknowledge the work I did for her saying I was lazy. Okay, this is number two. And that I didn't communicate properly and this is my fault. She's not pleased with the final artwork. If you worked with me before, you know I always communicate multiple times and request feedback to ensure I deliver the best art possible. If you are an artist, you know you need to, to establish limits and that you can't keep consenting when clients start requesting endless revisions because they fail to explain themselves and what they wanted from the service provided. This client has been asking me for edits repeatedly and making me recolor and separate the layers of the emotes commission three times already because every time I sent her the final update, she had new corrections she forgot to mention. Now, I refuse to keep working on a commission delivered on January 13th. Si oh, this, it's April now, geez. Since I was not compensated for these edits, I did, not, I did them as a courtesy to her. I explain... On my terms of service, you have a limited amount of corrections. She now claims that my work is lazy, that I didn't deliver the commission, and basically making me a criminal for not keeping up with the abuse and the unreasonable requests. I delivered the art commissioned 
And what is criminal is to file a chargeback against me and completely erase all of my ha hard work and the time I spent on it. But I guess that's to be expected from someone who attacked other artists in the past and complained about their prices. Oh, goodness. I don't like drama, but unfortunately things got out of hand and it is important for me to share my experience so other artists might take precautions if they consent to work with someone that might file a chargeback against you on a whim. Ugh, that's so terrible! Oh my goodness. Okay, so that so that was that was her eight part uh tweet. And then here it says, if you thought she was over with the first chargeback, wait till you read this. She now has decided to also rob me. 284 because again she's unable to use the art and the seller stated that they no longer wish to be in contact with me does this make any sense to you okay so here's this Oof, okay so the seller stated they no longer wish to contact me unable to use the provided artwork or services okay so this was a request for one request for emotes with the og outfit hairstyle discord stickers request two change outfit rose color discord stickers and layer separation from the seller huh oh goodness oh goodness that is that's a lot that is a lot so this person let's see if they have any okay this person doesn't seem to have any sort of retort on their channel this yeah i, I will say like the hardest yeah the hardest part of like art commissioning is is probably the the negotiation slash communication with the artist because like uh you know sometimes it is hard to convey what you really want however um like, usually industry standard is maybe like one to three revisions max. Anything more than that is a little, is, is a little unreasonable. It's, it's just a little bit much. You know what I mean? Like the artist can only do so much, right? You have to give them like, you kind of have to give them a lot, right? Uh, just be like, hey, I want this. I want this color. I want this color. And then they make it happen, right? For me, for my artwork, uh, a lot of times I use a, a website called Skeb. And Skeb is, is uh, an artist platform where a lot of Japanese artists come and, and do commissions. So like when, because there's a language barrier, I, anytime I send a request, I have to be very, very clear, right? And even though I'm very, very clear, sometimes uh, that's the kind of the beauty about art. Sometimes people have their own interpretations and you just kind of, as, as the commissioner, you just kind of have to deal with it you're like okay this is this person's artistic vision if you really 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 hate it you can try and edit it later but for the most part you if you're not very clear on what you want it's hard for the person to really it, you can mind reading is not a thing guys unfortunately mind reading is not a thing so you definitely need to work on communication when it comes to commissioning it is i, I can understand being frustrated but at the same time is it, it, it this is this person's livelihood doing a chargeback is kind of not cool what probably should have happened is just been like okay uh you know what i thank you so much here's the money maybe i'll use this maybe i won't you know what i mean but the fact that this person's doing charge wreck i think is kind of gross um but yeah i just uh, and especially since it, i mean in in this in this uh, series of tweets she mentions that this person has complained in the past about artists so it's uh it's it's a little tough it's a little tough this person probably thought this is the only thing I can do. The only thing I can do left is to charge back. I mean, we don't know this person's side of the story, so it's hard to really know for sure. Uh, but but generally, it's it's kind of frowned upon in the artist community to do a charge back. But uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of that. This one's a little bit more positive because <laughs> I know we covered a lot of heavy stuff today. Sorry, friends. Okay, so this is uh, so this is translated by Google. So if it's not great, I'm sorry. It says V Shoujo Secret Japan Trip Fair. Additional information released. Only at the Ikibukuro main store and the Akihabara store, we will be giving away special holographic postcards to commemorate the first anniversary of the renewal. In addition, during the event, a video narrated by seven V Shoujo talents will be broadcast on Animate TV. For more details, click here. Da 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 da! Look how beautiful it is! Oh my goodness! That's really cute. That's super fun. Wow! Wow! I love it. I love it. So yes, <laughs> Sacred Japan trip. Can I be on a Sacred Japan trip? Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> so much for watching the video. Shout out to my patrons that help make these videos possible. If you want to help support the channel, you can always join my Patreon, subscribe to me on Twitch, or become a member on YouTube. I also have links to merch in the description below. As always, I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!